Morning, folks. Sunday. Uh, a very cold Sunday, actually. Um, it feels colder today than it was yesterday. Supposedly, today is uh, six, seven degrees. Uh, to me, it feels like zero. Surprising. Very. And I think a lot of people have been caught out this morning. Yeah, so a lot of, a lot of people getting off the bus. Uh, and then immediately changing their mind and getting back on the bus, which, yeah, a little, little chilly. Uh, big event this morning as well. I say this morning, it's happening at lunchtime. Um, yesterday, as we all know, we had the latest Free Palestine uh, pro Gaza march through London today. It's a different one. Uh, today's march, it's another side, it's uh, a march against anti Semitism, which is starting at the Royal Courts of Justice uh, at around, I think, half past 12, something like that. Um, I don't know the route of that. They haven't actually published it, not that I could find. Um, however, I'm minded to think it's coming this way simply because uh, the most popular bus routes that go from High Park Corner across onto Piccadilly and then along to Trafalgar Square have all been diverted. All the traffic is being pushed they had a big diversion all the way along Oxford Street, Regent Street, blah, 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 blah. Uh, they ordinarily do that for one of two reasons. One, uh, serious pre-planned transport works, couldn't see anything on the schedule, or uh, a march or major public event. Again, I couldn't see any major public event scheduled, so my money's on, uh, on it being that uh, march against anti-Semitism, uh, which I'm not entirely sure um, if it's the same thing as a march uh, as a pro-Israeli march, I mean the two things are not mutually exclusive, um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens later. Um, a few people did mention or ask in the comments: Have we seen um, protesters from the other side marches for Israel as well as for Palestine? And the answer to that is yes. Uh, a couple weeks ago, there's a very, very large um, moonlit rally, actually, um, pro-Israeli rally at Trafalgar Square. In fact, I think that was, actually, was it last week, last last week or the week before. Um, but for whatever reason, thus far, uh, actually two reasons, one, population in the UK, and, and second, the way the media treats it, uh, there's not as much attention being given by the media here to the pro-Israeli um, and anti-Semitism protests and marches. So they are taking place, but they're not given the, uh, the media exposure. No idea why, it's just the way it is. That said, though, from the one I did see at Trafalgar Square, although it was well attended, it was tiny compared to the uh, the Free Palestine marches, even yesterday's one, which uh, I didn't stay around to, to cover because it was too cold. Even yesterday's one was, was large, 400,000 I would think, maybe half a mil. There's a lot of people, yeah. Um, nothing bad happened that I could see. I was watching somebody else's live yesterday evening at Trafalgar Square. Uh, there were lots of police. The whole of Whitehall was here. It was completely sealed off yesterday. So, yeah, pretty pretty eventful day all in all yesterday, but a peaceful one, so it would seem. You know, we didn't have the usual screamy headlines of, you know, X, blah, 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 number of protesters arrested or, you know, conflicts or whatever. It seemed to be pretty chill. And uh, that would explain why the horses are pretty chill. To me, it's remarkable how versatile the horse is. If it could be happy standing here, then I think a lot of you said, you know, zero degrees or even a bit colder. All the way up to 30 plus. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, I could do that, but that means a, a dramatic change of, uh, of outfits, of course, to deal with the heat or the cold. However, one thing I'm noticing this morning compared to yesterday, even though it's pretty busy here for a Sunday, uh, it's not bright, as you can see. The sun is not shining. That's good because it gives us a solid and consistent light. I'm not going to have to worry about where I point the camera. And it should stay like this for most of the day. It's going to be a bit of an overcast day. But you know what? That's okay with me. That, I believe, is the 10.45 a.m. bell. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the 10.45 a.m. bell. And the reason I was interested in that is to see whether or not the gatesman decided to do his rounds. And you know what? He's coming out, folks. Yep. He decided, you know what? After all of this time ignoring the bell, I'm not going to ignore it anymore. Here he is.
immaculate presentation. Uh, I, wasn't <laughs> I wasn't expecting that he'd go straight back in. Um, I, I know that it takes a little bit of a nod, and if all is well, it's not a problem. However, wait, is he heading to the tunnel? He is, actually. He's heading to the tunnel, as uh, the people from uh, uh, Hans, they would say, the, the tunnel. Mais oui. Let's have... Oh, they've closed it. It's actually closed. The side gates are closed. <laughs> Morning. Yeah, they close the side gates. I'm not sure why they're closed, but there we are. I'm just about to walk to the classic tourist mistake uh, and walk into the gates. Now, he will not stay here very long. I'm convinced of that for two reasons. One, it's flipping freezing. And two, uh, this is his last, I believe. Oh. His first and last hour. Actually, what am I talking about? Hold on a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has a shorter shift. They, they're doing odd, odd changeover, so he will change over at 11. Double change over at 11. Uh, gar Gatesman, Schitzman, uh, and Boxman, of course. I can quickly get to the front. Look, da -da. I made it to the arch before the Gatesman. Yeah, so he's almost done. I mean, he only just started 45 minutes ago, um, but he'll be off at 11. As long as they're keeping to the usual regimen of changing on uh, on odd hours. I didn't really get a chance to keep an eye on it yesterday because it was so busy, as you all saw in that video. Uh, we should as well, of course, it being Sunday, have the morning inspection out the back. I will not be going out to get stuck there. I will try to stay at the front and ideally, fingers crossed, uh, spot a captain coming out. Anyway, so we saw Trooper this end and his lovely... Horse. I would have sworn this horse was Invader. I really would. So, so, so similar. It, it, might, it might well be, I don't know actually. And at the other end, we have this glorious, magnificent, massive, mammoth sized horse. Uh, this is Northumberland, everybody. How do I know that? Well, we confirmed it yesterday. Uh, he is, as far as I'm aware, the largest horse that the Blues have brought over with this troop, uh, but more importantly, that sole unique rear left-hand side white sock. Yep, and I'm just, I'm not getting too close because at the moment I can just about fit the entire horse due to its enormous size, uh, plus trooper in the frame. Which is the idea, ideal. It's, what is it now? 11 minutes to uh, to 11. Gosh, it's a bit of a God knows where to look at the moment. People everywhere. Get a pitch with a horse. <laughs> oh, there's a small queue for me. Ta da! <laughs> Some of the tourists take it very personally when the, when the guard pulls the horse back. Well, all the way down from Scotland, uh, I've got a perfect picture with the horse. Well done, ladies. Got a picture with uh, the with the wee horse. I really need to stand back further than usual, otherwise there's no chance of getting all in. These early mornings when uh, a lot of people are doing still photography. Although personally, I don't think the light's good enough this morning. Oh, 
I was actually thinking it's pretty quiet uh, compared to yesterday and then obviously of course at the exact moment uh, we've got in a little serenity uh, police sirens what a surprise okay that's better now we can just now see both sides <clears throat> I'm trying to remember yesterday. Memory's like a sieve. Uh, which other two box? Oh yeah, actually, wait, I do remember. I know the other two box. But assuming that is that they will keep the same changeovers as yesterday. That's not guaranteed. They might, they might not. But those are definitely the same two horses that were here uh, yesterday. looking through the camera and see people wearing bubble hats and gloves and scarves and stuff it's kind of surprising because I remember back in June when it was starting to get really hot thinking gosh what will it be like here you know when you can uh, when you can bring a baby shark toy uh, and pose with the king's horse in the cold how fast those months went people eh zoomed from the summer into the autumn and now we're in the winter Scottish independence event this morning. Very unusual to be hearing so many Scottish accents here. One of my favourite accents, to be honest. I actually like it more than English. He's a big, big softy. Oh. oh, oh, he went straight for the rain. See this clown? It really didn't take long, did it? it? Really didn't take long. The lady behind me said straight away, no touching, please. I hope that the microphone picked it up. She said to him, no touching, please. Which isn't strictly true, but good to see that the public are here ready to, uh, to school naughty tourists if required. <laughs> Casual stroll over and of like, hey, <laughs> the guys always say to the guard, excuse me, sir, why are you riding my horse? Grabs the reins. It's been a while actually since we've seen that, folks, that blatantly. Surrounded here, guys. I'm wondering who's going to come up next. But everyone's just going to watch. Everyone's watching me watch. A lot of people started going through because the uh, inspection will be taking place at 11 on the dot. I haven't seen uh, an officer here yet. My money's in the office, having arrived uh, in a vehicle, chauffeur driven vehicle at the back gate. It's too late to come through the tunnel on horseback. It's a 
Northumberland will be back in an hour anyway, um, and it's highly likely that I will still be here uh, for the changeover when Northumberland will come back. Let's see who's coming out next, though. Again, if there's a full inspection this morning, that will uh, throw a bit of a spanner in the works because the front gates will be closed for some time. So, thinking about it, actually, uh, Northumberland probably won't be leaving at 11. He might well be off at 11, 15, 11, 20. So if there is an inspection here today, uh, out the back, then when uh, the captain comes through this horse, that's here right now, uh, we'll have to wait. It's simply, yeah, he, he will be here a little bit longer. But the police are funneling people to the, uh, the left side of the tunnel. Wait, that's interesting. Hold on. They're trying to, but then the gate's closed. Okay, so the last few lucky souls just got through, and that's it. Done. Oh. <laughs> But uh, through the gates goes and into horse cards. Lucky last few. Okay, that's done. It's sealed. <laughs> he says. But then there's some people trying to get out. I'm not sure he's going to let them out. Or tell them to go back out the back. Oh, what a gen look. I bet he wouldn't have done it if it were four young lads. He didn't want them to feel trapped in, in the gates, and they said thanks. Like my dear, I am trapped in the, the castle of the king. Okay, that's it. I'm pretty sure there'll be no more exceptions made, uh, made at this point. Good number along the front, but a bit of a wait. That's the only downside. See, I fell over the, the uh, bollard. Okay, so we probably will not have anyone uh, being naughty at this point. Why? Because strictly speaking, people are supposed to stay behind the bollards. The police didn't tell them to do that inside, uh, outside the front here, as you heard, uh, and neither did the guards. But depending on which guard and how cheeky people are, sometimes they will scream at them to uh, to get back. Let's wait for that bell in just a couple of minutes uh, and see who's uh, who's coming out, which officer it is. Uh, it's completely shut on the front, as you can see, which is kind of sad, folks, because I just got here. Somebody's went up the street as well. Police uh, motorcyclists have just closed the road on the other side of the street. Okay, we'll see. Let's see if we can spot the... Oh, here we go. Ta-da! Right, now they come for the morning inspection. Decent-ish views, in fact, through the uh, closed gate. Couple of horse on foot. At the back. I think, honestly, that uh, it'll be a very brief affair this morning. As long as the officer's on time, and I have no reason to believe he or she isn't, yeah, it'll be a brief affair. It's, uh, it's way too cold to keep them waiting. Okay, here we go. This far back, I cannot see for the life of me if it's a captain or a lieutenant. The thumbnail's getting a bit cloppy. I think... Oh, hold on, here we are. It is... Oh, a little salute there from the trooper. I can't quite see, can't see his face, the uh, the officer. Instinctively, captain. <laughs> uh, brilliant. And a wave, guys, a morning wave uh, from one of our favourite troopers. Uh, today it's uh, Anglo-French Entente Day. Uh, this is why he's wearing a uh, Zuberi to celebrate uh, the glory of France right here in London. <laughs> oh, wait, who's there? Hold on, who are these people? <laughs> Where were they hiding? Wait, what? Where were they all this time? 
I have no idea where they just appear, <laughs> appeared from. <laughs> they must have been uh, in the guard shop or something. <laughs> uh, she was here, yeah, she just said to her husband, trust us to get stuck in there. Oops. Okay, big bend, guys, in the distance to my left. It's roughly give or take about, let me think, a third of a mile away? Between a third and a half a mile away. Uh, and interesting, yesterday, I, uh, my little puzzler about uh, the big clock, it doesn't actually have a name, folks. There's a tower, okay, but the bell itself uh, is called Big Ben. Uh, big Ben, I know it's, 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 it, it, the entire thing is commonly referred to worldwide uh, as being Big Ben, but strictly speaking, uh, Ben is the bell. Benny McBell. open and there's a very good chance at least I would say 60% if not higher based on previous experience that the captain will emerge from this gate right in front of us uh, and speak to this trooper this king's guard first that might give uh, a good idea of just how enormous depending which captain it is uh, glorious Northumberland is we'll certainly tell over the captain yes yes he will look he knows it you betcha. He's looking behind us like, where's the boss? The interesting is that even though the side gates are still both chained shut, uh, the middle gate actually isn't locked. It's, uh, it's pushed to, that said, there is a, a very specific I'm not sure if it's intentional, just because of the, the way the metal aged uh, knack to opening and closing these gates. And the quiet one is the best thing for me is uh, is the sound that it makes when the horse is uh, is playing with the bridle playing with that bit, tossing it in the air. You can really hear it clearly when there's no traffic. I really cannot begin to fathom uh, how those three people got stuck in there, unless they were in this corner. I think they might have been sitting on the wall around the corner there, and hence they were completely missed. Never seen that before, actually. Uh, some people being stuck in there after the change is underway. The guy's actually been quite, uh, quite patient and, uh, and gentlemanlike today with the tourist. In weeks gone by, um, I can recall him getting a little bit upset when uh, when um, when people would go over and get super close to the horse um, either whilst the change is ongoing or when it's supposed to be pretty clear here at the front for the morning inspection I can't actually see the time on the clock it's a teeny weeny bit it's a teeny weeny bit obscured but on the other phone 11.04 yeah I'm pretty sure they'll be done by 10 past doesn't matter, we've got the best spot anyway in front of Northumberland. He's the better looking of the two horses. The other one's a beauty, but this, uh, <clears throat> this horse is a super beauty. Right, dear? Yes, I said yes, I am. Oh, he's smiling. Why are you sticking his tongue out at me? Beauty, that horse. It's super chilled as well. <clears throat> I 
impatient people are waiting. But the difference, the stark contrast to yesterday. They're still busy, as you can see, but a different kind of busy, sort of polite, respectful busy. So it feels very much like uh, yesterday was some kind of massive, massive celebration, and everybody's a little bit drunk and over, uh, overcast. What about the weather? They're still being up and posing with other horses at the other end. Breakfast is coming, that's what it is. I wonder actually if the horses have any sense of how long they've been standing there. Uh, he's now been there for an hour and six minutes, uh, assuming that they came out exactly at 10 o'clock and not a little after. Yeah, well, people that are walking on the front are wondering how they can get to the back, but by the time they walk around from here, you can either get through to the back by King Charles Street um, or Trafalgar Square, but it's too late. Anyone leaving now to try and make it to the inspection will miss it. The Sunday inspection is generally quite a brief affair. But again, it depends on the captain. Some of them uh, <coughs> zoom around really fast, like really fast. Others, very leisurely. There's no hard and fast rule. Huge number of people that are here, though. But everyone's being sort of really well behaved this morning. Look, kind of you know respectful, keeping a distance for the moment. Okay, so uh, they're coming back in. Nope, that isn't. That isn't. That isn't that look, quick, quick, horses. Take a picture of me. No, now. Oh, too late. That's it. Photo op missed. Once in a lifetime photo op of half of the troop, and it was missed. Okay, so, oh, they're opening the central gate today. It's a 50 50, folks. Ah, for the first time that I remember in recent memory, he's going the other way. Okay. So inspect me, Captain, please. go over and inspect the gatesman. Here we are. Uh, and after that, since we've opened the gates, uh, it'll be interesting to see how many people are coming from the tunnel side into the yard. Oh, okay. Myself behind the bollard, just in case Northumberland decides to go for a stroll. Oopsie. Gates are about to open. Uh, chaos, chaos if, uh, if there's a lot of people at the back. 
It really did, uh, did build up at the front there. Done with, you know, and the uh, the gates are reopened. It's very curious. Bingo. There we are. <coughs> okay, two new horses. And this is the part where we might well see some drops. This is about time to move back. I was going to say this might well be the uh, the moment when we hear people getting in trouble. Sounds good for me, Oh, the 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 what I'm going to do, everybody, is I'm going to turn the camera around now behind me because I'm 99% certain I've got somebody's hand in my pocket. Now, is that the same pink hat we saw the other day? Sorry, chap. I think it is. I'm actively thinking it might well be. I said they're leaving very sheepishly. I'll ask my friend in a minute, and I need to look at the picture. Yeah, I felt, I felt something, there's nothing there. There's nothing in my pocket. And she looked super guilty when I turned around to see what she was doing. Oh, wow. Damn it. Anyway, we've still got the face picture. The one that was in the hand was in the pink hat was the, was the one that I've done the video. The pink pocket. I felt a hand in my pocket. Yeah. And when I turned around to film, they went. They left it, went across the street. Her and a young girl. Yeah, they are all like that. Wow. I wonder why they were so close to me when I was filming it. Is, is there anything uh, open? No? Yeah, that's supposed to be. Wow. That would have been real interesting if I caught a hand actually in my pocket. Uh, have a little wander to the other end in a second, guys. So at least we know, uh, same trooper and horse, that was here yesterday. Well, 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 that was an interesting uh, turn of events, wasn't it? Oh, damn it, they had to arrive now, look. <laughs> if they'd been here three minutes ago, that would have been perfect timing. Let's have a quick wander down, see if they're still there. It's a difficult thing, you know, because it's not having actually had anything taken. Uh, even if I grabbed them and then called the police over, there's no, no offence that's been committed, there's no crime. Which is kind of frustrating, but at the same time, at least for now, I've got a very clear idea of who it is. I will not forget that uh, gypsy-like face, I tell you. It's a damn shame she turned around, though. She, I think she, uh, she realised when I mentioned about turning around, I think she heard it. Uh, and you saw how quickly uh, she popped across the street with, uh, with the girl. Very curious. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness me, I purposely eat nothing uh, in my side pockets. Even though they're zipped, I purposely keep nothing in them. Because if there's nothing there, nothing can be taken. But that sheepish look, that was an absolute look of guilt, 100% when I turned there. Uh, to put my head over my left shoulder. She realised she might have uh, pushed a little bit too hard. Stupid. But I'll have a look at the video though. I'm 99% certain. It was again, it was a pink bobble hatted lady. It looks just like that. I'm sure it's her. One second. The woman that you filmed, um, the one with the pink bobble hat, yeah. she was behind me with a hand in my pocket over there. I did this lady one. Yeah, when I finish this later on, I'll, I'll show you. Yeah, it's a hundred percent. I'm sure it's the same woman you filmed yesterday. Okay, here come the hordes. Uh, police horses first, followed by hordes of happy tourists. Here they are. Look, uh, it's a horse fan club behind them. That's why they're all uh, all following. Tunnel. Everyone's from the from the tunnel. Actually, I know the officer on the right hand side. Uh, I'd be able to find out which horse he's on. That big. Wait, is it? Oh, hold on. I think it's the big, uh, big hoofed one from yesterday's video at Parliament Square. I'm sure it is. Wait, let me see. If I get back, if uh, if he spots me, I'll ask him which name, uh, which horses is uh, that he's riding today. Wow. Oh yeah, I saw this horse yesterday. What's, what's his horse called? Um, you might have seen him in Pimlico. Though, I'm, I'm sure he was yesterday around Parliament Square heading toward Pimlico. He's so he's having his bullseye. Bullseye? He's oh my goodness. For about a month. Just a month, so he's a newbie, yeah? yeah? So he's, I'm exposing him to various areas around central London. You dropped him in the deep end yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> he's doing well. He's, he's doing a beauty. Well. Hey, Take care, yeah? have a good day, guys. Well, wow, he's a real beauty, eh? Bullseye. We've seen that horse before. He's in a previous video, a lot of you will remember. I don't remember when it was, but if he's been out for a month, uh, yesterday was his first real uh, real experience with crowds, I guess. But wow, yeah, bullseye. That was definitely the horse we saw yesterday. This massive cloppy, uh, either that or he's got a twin, cloppy hoofs. That officer is, uh, is a super nice guy. He's always uh, very friendly and very optimistic, even on a really, <laughs> sorry, even on a really cold morning, uh, like this morning, and it is a cold morning. Ah, that's a cheeky little thumbs up, I saw that. <laughs> in the box. I'm in a good mood today, I'm I can see you're in a good mood. I'm, I'm on though, so yeah. it's not live, but I'm, uh, it's the YouTube one. That's right. All good. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah we've got some plans now. Uh, we're trying for a baby now, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, hold on, this is like a uh, channel looks good. <laughs> hey, I don't think it's going to take much trying. The fun part is not the trying, it's the practice prior to the trying. Right? Yeah, I thought we're really brought together. We're really brought together at the moment. Yeah? yeah? Perfect timing as well in the winter. You know, what more do you want than being at home, cosy, in the bed with the person you love? Thank you for Christmas. <laughs> wow, that would be a nice Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, that would be perfect. Right, I need to go as well. Congratulations though, Pidia. Yeah. That's, that's really, really good news. I'm really happy for you. Yeah. It's going to be a good year next year. Yeah, I tell you, I've got, I've got similar news to yours, would you believe? Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's really good news. In fact, one of our favourite troopers, guys. Uh, his, his, his partner, um, they're going to try for a child. And uh, I did briefly talk with him yesterday. Uh, I knew he was going to speak to me this morning. Uh, and he knows that I'm shooting today's video. That's why I mentioned it to him, just to clarify it. That was uh, a bit of an exclusive there, folks. Uh, baby trooper on the way. Hopefully the first baby trooper, uh, Trooper Junior, uh, since I've been filming here. What a lovely, friendly, open person he is, a eh? thoroughly decent human being. Uh, and all the best wishes to him and his lovely partner. She's a lovely girl, so they will uh, undoubtedly have a beautiful family. I wonder he's in such a chirpy mood, actually. Uh, and to answer your questions, a lot of people know that Trooper. He has a very public face. He's a very confident, down-to-earth kind of guy. Um, and it's because he's like that that you know a lot of you do know who he is uh i don't typically mention people's names but you know there's no need because uh 
is well known on Instagram and elsewhere. But it's a wonderful thing, wonderful thing. Yeah, a very humble fellow. Something that I admire greatly. Super news. <laughs> so I had to walk away. I couldn't hold my laugh. God, it goes laugh. Super cute, super funny. I'm wondering actually if they've closed the road. I think they've actually completely sealed it. I'm just suddenly thinking to myself, why is it so quiet? Why is there not a din? Uh, and yes, they have actually, folks, closed the road. Um, that means that the march I was referring to earlier, the um, march against anti-Semitism, will almost certainly be coming from the Royal Courts of Justice along the Strand, which joins on Traf Trafalgar Square, and I guess along here, along Whitehall to Downing Street. It's, it's pretty much, I'm sure it's inevitable. I will actually, if I see uh, if I see them, ask an officer. They're doing something interesting over here as well. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe yesterday's video, we saw that super human strength uh, female senior police officer uh, ripping that post out of the street with her bare hands. I know what they're doing. They're checking all of the, any posts and bollards and pillars and stuff to make sure that nothing has been hidden inside them. I won't mention the word, but you know what I'm talking about. That's what they're doing with those sticks. Look, they're sort of testing it to make sure there's no plastic <coughs> inside. Makes sense. However, interesting as that is, TSG, Territorial Support Group vans over there as well. Interesting as that is, I still don't know uh, if that's the reason. It could well be that there's a foreign dignitary uh, or somebody else arriving at the Ministry of Defence this morning. They've closed these two gates and that's very curious I've never seen these gates on some horse guards avenue closed before never so I wonder why that building over on the right hand side is the Ministry of Defence but I've, I didn't even notice or know that there were gates here that could be closed because I've never seen them closed before if I see an officer around um, I will ask them what uh, is going to be happening this morning yeah lots of police for me up look if I look toward Downing Street And further afield, another group. Yeah, something's happening. I don't know what uh, exactly, but I guess we'll know in time. They're obviously expecting numbers. If they've gone and sealed the whole of Whitehall and fundamentally made it into uh, a pedestrian thoroughfare, look. A lot of people got very lucky. It's uh, pretty unusual that they close it entirely. When they do, it's normally for something like a marathon. Um, and obviously, if there's a marathon, even though the road is closed, you still can't access the central area. So it would be sort of, you know strolling wandering around in the middle of the street uh, on a Sunday morning it's interesting as well because it gives a totally different aspect perspective uh, over what we see here look I can stand way back and pretty much capture everything without needing to be uh, up close and dirty as it were with uh, with the tourists and the horses extraordinary eh? and very much unexpected I still wonder why they haven't got round to removing those flags. Very curious. Oh, wait, somebody's dropped a uh, second. I'll see if they know. If not, I'll mention it to him. He must know. He's looking kind of next to it. I'm sure he knows that they dropped it. Second, folks. Yeah, he's picked it up. He knows he's, uh, he's dropped it. Okay, good. Right, let's refocus. Still cannot believe that somebody tried to pick my pocket. Um, I've actually remarkably. Um, Oh, 
God. It's a geometric tour guide who, uh, unbelievable. Yeah, this has terrified the horse with that exceedingly weird noise. There's a banner for that. That actually scared me. I don't know how sensitive the horse's ears are to a noise like that. Yeah, back to that pickpocket thing, folks. Actually, wait, I've got on my other phone, I just remember, hold on a second. I've got a face picture. Wait. From, uh, from our chat group. Now, the question is, you guys be the judge, okay? Is that the same woman? Oh, actually, it's hard to tell. Look. That. <laughs> Okay, is the 100% confirmed pickpocket from yesterday. Now, is that the lady that was behind me a bit earlier? Hard to know, with absolute certainty. My money is on it being the same woman. Exactly the same hat. I mean, that isn't absolute proof. I'm just looking at that from yesterday, remember in the group. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's her from this morning. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, did you, did you see the woman that was behind me? Did you finish? No, I no, I'm still recording. I'm still recording. I only got the, the back of her head when she walked off. Wait, he was here again this morning? No, I didn't see it. From yesterday? Yeah, uh, I think that guy Hey, that's a good idea. Gloves with uh Yeah. It's still <laughs> <laughs> gotta be done. Even that doesn't help a lot then, they still like leave the fingers freezing. Look Michelle with no gloves. <laughs> Strong. She was just too. I could. I could hear the sound of someone breathing. She was just too close. People don't get that close to other people behind them, you know. And she waited obviously until the guard change was happening, until everything was locked, and it was really packed at the front. There's a lot of people behind you, trying to approach some people behind you. Yeah. But did you see the lady one? Be sure it's the one. I'm. I'm about 95% sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, because I looked over my shoulder and saw her face and she looked really guilty. And then when I said I'm going to turn the camera now slowly, yeah. guys, she walked off. So I couldn't film her face, just the back of her head. Amazing. But yeah, looking at the picture from yesterday in the group, I'm pretty sure it's the same woman. We have happened yesterday in, the, in my place. One people dead. Hit and run. Really? What? Yeah. Just on the street? Yeah. Oh, man. It's massive, no? Wow. All the bad is... That bad? Yeah. You didn't film it, though, did you? I filmed it, but... <laughs> but you're not going to be... Not gonna... No, no. <laughs> oh, look, something big is going on today. Look at this. Yeah. Hold on, guys. One second. I think... Actually, I'm not going to speculate on what this is, but I think this is a... <clears throat> squad van. I think. I might be wrong. Completely unmarked. Oh, actually, wait, no, 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 it's not, it's not. It's the uh, the cone van. They're going to cone Whitehall. I said, why have they got a police? Uh... Super weird, actually. Wait, let me see if I can find out what on earth is going on this morning. It seems to be an awful lot of bother for a protest. They would ordinarily have just closed the road and barriered it, as they do ordinarily, unless this was very much a last minute thing. Okay, seeing the first arrivals from the palace. Bear in mind, the guard change only just finished, so people will start to to flood from the palace shortly. It's a bit of a shame, actually, that um, she didn't take what was in my pocket, guys, because I, I did actually have something in my pocket that I didn't even know was there. This, look. What's that? Mints. Tree ball mints. Those were in the pocket that her ham was in. <laughs> uh, next time I'll bring a mouse trap, put it in my pocket instead. Unbelievably cheeky, eh? I, I, in some respects, I admire the <coughs> cojones, uh, as the Spanish will call them, that it, that it takes to do that, to put uh, the hand in and to try, try and steal someone's phone or something. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> Thanks, though. Thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I guess it kind of, what is it? Is it greed or is it desperation? No way of knowing really, I guess, but it's still bang out of order. Especially if that were a tourist that were here, they had their passport or their cards or whatever taken, that would have been super out of order. 
Yeah, very naughty. Sort of two channel exclusives this morning. Uh, the first, Kingsguard Baby, coming hopefully next year. Uh, and secondly, I'm me getting pickpocketed <laughs> in the middle of my own video. <laughs> I should have been quicker to turn that camera straight around. The problem is, um, if they were that worried about being filmed, she probably would have just, you know, battered it away or whatever. I didn't want to destroy the video. I'd rather get uh, get pickpocketed and, uh, and complete the video properly. Still have but I'm being a little bit quiet because there are people recording to my left and right, so I'm kind of keeping my voice down for a minute. Forward to the horse. Very curious. Very, very curious. You can see how many people are here, but I don't know. Maybe it's because the road is open. People are not feeling the need to be so compressed uh, on this side, on the pavement side, which I guess is a good thing. Uh, horses are getting a bit of a break today. It's certainly not a negative. Okay. See, in the middle. Officer, around. I'd love to uh, to ask them what's happened this morning. The police inside will probably know, but uh, they won't 100% confirm it. Why? Because it's not uh, not something they would discuss uh, with me or with anyone else. It operational matters and stuff. A few brave souls still going over. Let's get his look. Busy guys looking at that that, that mug shot from yesterday. Look. <laughs> oh, good lord. I mean, at least we've got that. I need to have a really good look through yesterday's footage. Uh, 
uh, on the <laughs> exceedingly remote uh, one in roughly what seven and a half, eight billion chance that uh, somebody might recognise the lady uh, <laughs> in that picture on my other phone. Uh, I'd much obliged if you would let me know who she is. Is I can't actually see anyone with cameras taking pictures of the people that are walking over uh, and getting pictures. These few hardy souls that have gone over in the last few minutes. A lot of domestic going on on my left. <laughs> no, no, just one, uh, and the other people go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this impatient in front of me. Look, like, excuse me, can you get your kids out of here so I can have a picture? He's actually turning them off. Trying to tell off the lady with the baby. Okay, one second, guys. Let's see what happens next. This is <laughs> this is Spanish Karen. All, all the lady's doing is explaining to her children what the different parts are. She hasn't even posted the reins, uh, nor is it up to this lady here uh, to be telling anyone else what to do. Stormed off now. <laughs> she heard me. <laughs> uh, brilliant. <laughs> Folks, is there a Spanish speakers uh, in the in the comments? Is there a, a kind of you know? A, 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 I'm reluctant to use the phrase, but I did invent it. But you know what I mean? A, a Karen a Spanish version. What do you call Karen in in, uh, in Spain? Carla or <laughs> Karen or. <laughs> yeah, some of the body language is actually pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> and we suddenly got uh, a little bit crowded around the horse. Busy looking over the crowd, guys, both sides to see if I can see any uh, any fluffy pink bubble hats. People that seem to tickle the horses know that they really understood that. Do they like it? The horses like it, folks, or not? I don't. I prefer I like somebody tickling my nose. I mean, there are certain parts of my body that I like to have tickled. Uh, nasal tickling is not high on my list of priorities, I must admit. <laughs> French meltdown on my right. I was wondering if this lady's a statue, but they did it standing there like for an hour. So doesn't want to move. Everyone else is waiting. <laughs> How long is she going to take? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Folks, I'm pretty sure any any French speakers could you translate what the lady just said? Sorry, chap. Sorry. Yeah, thank you. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure she was surprised that the, the length of time she was waiting. It's okay. Yes. <laughs> Love her enthusiasm there. How long does it take to get a picture? sense that after yesterday's closure I'm not really seeing this you know, yo-yo effect it's always yo-yo right, uh, good <laughs> little dude's ears are definitely not going to get cold. Uh, I need to get myself a pair of earmuffs, people. Top man. I moved for a second, guys, because I just noticed behind me, uh, police decided to park this van. <laughs> I have no idea why. Uh, I guess just to doubly emphasise the road closure. Uh, those two officers annoying. He just came out of horse guards in the central gate. I missed them. It would have been lovely to find out. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I don't know what is going on this morning. And, uh, it's a very curious state of affairs. What could all of this be for? One has to wonder. Yeah, something is imminent. Most curious. Just as there is an officer, uh, I missed the opportunity to ask them what's going on. Ah! You won't. Oh, goodness me. Wow, it's pretty chocker, eh, folks? And I think that this level of, uh, of crunch is only going to get more dramatic as the morning goes on. I'm kind of wondering whether or not I should split this um, this morning into two parts, looking at the torrent of people that are coming over from the palace. Yeah, let me do, let me do that, guys. Um, this will be part one, um, and I'll start a part two shortly when I've got a very good spot, because I've got a feeling uh, it's going to be a pretty busy morning. Let's, let's find out. But anyway, back in... Uh, in part two people uh, hopefully by then I might even have an update as to what on earth is going on with all the police we'll see back shortly